13 degrees is hot. Mm. <laughs> it's in this country after Dude, everything, man. 13 degrees in Kenya is winter, man. Mm. That's what they consider winter. There was a time it actually hit 11. And uh, it was a couple of nights it was 11. I think June, July is when it actually gets really cold in Kenya. Oh, it's a lovely day, man. Do you have a YouTube channel, or was that just a jest? I do have a YouTube channel, man. Really? I've had it for a year now. <laughs> I've been posting uh, a lot of content on it, uh, talking about, you know, just music production and life in general. Really? And, and life in the UK, yeah. Music production. Music okay. production, man. That's interesting, because mm -hmm. you never knew you were a musician. Exactly. I don't... I haven't shared that part of my life with you. <laughs> I used to do, not used to, I, I still kind of do a little bit of uh, hip-hop uh, music production for local underground artists in Nairobi. Really? Yeah, it was a good gig. Uh, I had like a home studio, so they'd come over. Yeah, nice studio. And, uh, nice. What kind of music did you do? What kind of genre did you do? Well, I had, um, I had literally thousands of pounds worth of stuff, studio, uh, Yamaha, something, studio yeah, yeah. monitors, and... Uh, nice. A uh, really nice condenser microphone that cost like a few hundred quid road, I think it was, and uh, nice. all, all the business, you know, all the uh, uh, MIDI keyboards with, uh, but it was mostly hooked up with, the, um, my door uh, was uh, the AW, was um, sound, sound, not soundscape, but uh, it's one of those sound ones, mm. and obviously, <laughs> <laughs> began with sound, and nice. uh, yeah, it would cost thousands if I actually bought it, but I had the student thing at the time, so uh, yeah. I didn't have to uh, pay for anything. <laughs> Microsoft, all the Microsoft products are free, but I naturally assumed that all products were free if, you, if they're on a computer, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, yeah and, and, and what, um, uh, what uh, music production software did you use? Like, like the one I use is FL Studio. Uh, oh, right, FL Studio, yes. I um, have you heard about it. Uh, yeah, of course I have, yeah. It's just that one where the, the logo is like a strawberry. Yeah, it's like it looks like a strawberry, but it's not a strawberry, it's a weird orange fruit. Oh, right. Yes, that's the one, man. That is yeah, the one. I've, I've actually had a, a light version of that, yeah. Uh, but Cubase was my, oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah. awesome one from a decade plus ago. Nice. I enjoyed it so much because it had this attachment on there, this VST attachment that came with it. Mm. And it was just like you put in a song mm. and it samples automatically with some AI. It like detects it. the detects the tempo and samples yeah. out like when you can yeah. when the verse starts, when the chorus starts, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was so good. And and you nice. could literally remix anything anything live. Mm. It just sounds like a brand new remix, like <laughs> proper, like totally. This also kind of reminds remix. me of that other software called Virtual DJ or something like that. Was, oh, I've got that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, there was also that. A lot of people were into that. I, I just didn't really fancy it a lot because it didn't give you the opportunity to do, like build from scratch. You couldn't create your own sounds from scratch, really. It was more about mixing two tracks together, merging different songs together and stuff. So yeah, it was basically what a DJ does. <laughs> Yeah, FL Studio was more of building from the ground up, everything, you know, kick, clap, snare, everything. Uh, you put in your instruments or you just record your own instruments and use those. Mm. A very nice composer. Yes. So yeah, I used to do that and then I'd invite like a couple of guys over and like charge them like a, like a studio rate, yeah, a nice. small, small fee. Yeah, it was just a, a side hustle, you know? Yeah. And I kind of liked it because it was it was also fun, um, but it, obviously I, you know it was still upcoming and I wasn't really getting a lot of clients. And most of my clients turned into friends, and then we just ended up recording and having long sessions well, without. Why don't uh, if if you want to invest some money, mm -hmm. uh, we need um, another whole layer to pretty much surround it, other than just one door, which we have to put on on the other door. Mm -hmm. But my workshop at the back. We can convert that into a studio. Oh, that'd oh that would be freaking yes. awesome. Yeah, we can just get like the soundproofing yes. uh, form. Oh man, yes. Exactly what I did for my single garage, which is half the size. But uh, so we just need. So I have, I have a, I have a mixer. I have a condenser C1 microphone. I have all the XLR cables. 
the only thing that I'm lacking is studio monitors. That's it. Studio monitors, yes. Yeah. yeah. We just get like basic studio monitors, like Yamaha's or the... NS10s, I had. Oh, They were nice. good. I think there was 220 quid, but they sounded like they were 1,000 quid. <laughs> they were so good that you, yeah. you can use them as reference monitors, but you can also use them for hi-fi. Nice. But, uh, it, the reason, of course, that you do this, that, uh, that you have monitors, is because it gives it the natural sound. But mm. uh, yeah, with the NS10s that I remember, I think they're called the NS10s, but we are talking a decade ago. Mm. Um, it, it was natural, and but it, you can use it either or, you know, mm. high flight or as a monitor. Nice. That was, that was fantastic. Yeah, I think that would be a nice project to venture into, just convert that back shed into a studio. Yes. What, what happened to the jacuzzi? <laughs> well, the jacuzzi we're going to sell. I know it was ah. about 240, 250, ah. and I spent like 20, 40 quid on extras. So I'm thinking mm. 200 pounds, so I'm just going to crack mm. and buy it because it, it looks brand new. Mm. And um, yeah, that's 200 pounds worth of insulation for the. We have to get rid of the. I've already used a dB um, a decibel monitor to see where the sound leak is. It's oh, obviously nice. the, coming from double glazing. Mm. So, um, yeah, to, apart from one door, everything should be like, like properly yeah. soundproofed. Yes. And yes. say another lot of, pl say, plasterboard, even though there's no plasterboard in there, but mm. um, there's. Uh, there's the ship clap, then there's the insulation, and I did do quite a good job in covering up the gaps. Nice. And then there's the 12 mil um, chipboard, mm. which is laminated. Uh, but on top of that, we should do a, a plasterboard, and then um, then put some some sort of soundproof in. Or mm. what I did before when I had my own studio, uh, I did the plasterboard, doubled it, mm. and then put cork. The silver in, in between the in between the two no. boards. Nice. No, it was. Um, oh, it was on top. Like, it was on top. It was all silver. It was. Uh, uh, oh. my, it was a rave nightclub stroke recording <laughs> studio. It was just silver. The nice. whole whole room was silver with multicolored. I think that would lights. be awesome if we could if we could convert that into something like super soundproof. Like we can make all the noise that we want mm. inside there, and no one would even mm. know. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. I mean, technically, no one really would care too much because it's it's a good 10 to 15 meters away from the nearest house, <laughs> and sound dissipates 50% every five meters on average. Nice. Um, so it's, it's not noise nice. pollution unless it goes at 80 decibels. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yes, and unless it's after 11 or on Sundays, no one can let you object. <laughs> and Sadama and that's the main person you have to work with. <laughs> yeah, but that's ample and it's perfect for a recording studio. If I sort of like have a, make, build myself a big container, put my tools into this long container so it's all hidden away. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, most of it is, it's, you know, 10 square meters of a recording studio. Nice. Which would be amazing. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm up for that. And then nice, uh, nice, creatively nice, find, nice. create music, I mean, which I've always wanted to be in a position where I could do that. I had yeah. my mum's mansion in Chelmsford, <laughs> uh, but my mum came back from Brazil and I left university and the, all my, my happiness yes. was over. I mean, I, this, <laughs> without a doubt, it was the most amazing time of my life. Yeah, of I, had my own, I had what is known as Chelmsford's smallest nightclub. Because it, like, the, the Yamaha speakers, and I have a 7 .1, no, 5 one Yamaha system as well, nice. were just phenomenally good. I mean, it was, sounded so much better than nightclub when you put <laughs> everything together. I even had a 70 pounds repeated foot machine in there. Oh. Um, you know, this uh, sofas, really comfortable sofas, and nice. big monitors for the computer. Nice. Everything was PC driven. Nice. And I do have, in relation to the PCs, I was using laptops then. Mm. In relation to the laptops I was using 10 years ago, even my old PC, which is a 8 core, 4.2 gigabyte uh, AMD chip, um, mm. is still phenomenally powerful. And there's 16 gigabyte RAM. That computer's just, you know, it's just gathering dust. So we can certainly use that to power any system. Yeah. 
but you've got your Mac. Yeah, well. but I still have my Mac, or I still have the other PC, which is still relatively very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we can set really it up anything. with, um, like I, I used to set up both my, my computers together, so they worked mm -hmm. in harmony. Even the mouse, one mouse, two computers. Yeah, but if you wanna, if we wanna convert that to a studio, we'd, we would want to have like a dedicated PC just for that place. Exactly. So it's like, oh, nice. That's it's there. It's, it's, it's doing nothing right now. Nice. So I'll bring in the mixer and the microphone and the pop filter and the XLR cables. Yes. And I even have. I even have that, what, what is it, UC something controller. What it does is it it uh, connects your mixer to uh, to your PC via USB. So it's like you have the auxiliary uh, left-right channels going in and out of that controller and then it plugs into your PC as a USB. So, you, so your laptop or computer can detect your mixer and, and collect sound from your mixer, basically. Okay. So... Oh, I always had a little bit of trouble sometimes setting up the MIDI devices. Mm. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't have. I you, I had one, but, but you kind of sold it. I suppose. Uh, yeah, well, I tried to be. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a top class computer programmer, and therefore MIDI devices should be a cinch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So good. Yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely share the link to my YouTube channel. You definitely check it out. Yes. Um, I do. How many subscribers? Do so I do. I have 99 subscribers. Wow, dude. <laughs> well, so yeah, I, I need I one more. So maybe you can be one more to make it 100. So I, that would be the I, first. I, I've, I've given someone, he had uh, about 35,000 subscribers. I've been giving him advice <laughs> for two years. Uh, and he, guess how many he has now? Just under a quarter of a million. Are you freaking serious? I am absolutely serious. I gave him advice but about I, you know the thing is, and what yeah. to say. And, Intro, your outro. Yeah, but that's your, the thing. You your see, music, mm. where to code for the music, uh, how to do your um, thumbnails, everything. I gave him advice, and uh, he adopted pretty much everything mm. he said. And and soon, right, three months after I said, you know, if you put these sounds and yeah. you put a production in, you. But you see, that, that's the thing. I haven't put, I haven't put in a lot of effort into production and content, and even like you, like well, you'll just check out the channel. You see what I'm doing. It's, uh, I do a couple of live streams here and there. I game a little bit on it, uh, but yeah, I, I still need to like follow like a proper script, I guess you would say, to yes. to get that. The yes, ninety nine is is um, well. <laughs> if we could get that to quarter of a million. Well, well, let me let me hit let me hit at least a hundred subscribers first to begin with, man. Because even to get to a hundred has been a lot of work, man. Oh. It, it's yeah. It has. It hasn't been easy. Well, now that you've got a YouTube business manager, <laughs> I mean, it should be very simple. So, so James, the, our, so so should I should I should I introduce you now <laughs> to the camera and say okay. James is my business manager. <laughs> <I'm subscribed. laughs> all right, you will be behind the scenes. All right, all right. <laughs> right now, I am more Bruce Wayne, not Batman. Mm -hmm. Right, so is it a walk from town or is it just a walk through the shopping centre? No, we'll just walk through the shopping centre. Okay, so we're outside. parking on, there's near and far car parks, one where you walk through town and one where you walk through the shopping centre. You want the near one, not the far one. Do you? Uh, what, okay, what would you recommend? If you want to uh, walk through uh, the shopping uh, centre, is it even... Okay. Actually, even the shopping center is not such a bad idea. But which 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 one's more convenient? Uh, the more convenient is the closest. Oh, okay, let's let's just do that then. Yeah, let, yeah, let's just do that. And if it were me, the time was not an issue. I would have parked <laughs> about five, ten minutes walk away, so I would pay no nothing on the old car park fee. But you know, what, what, what's Maximum of four pounds. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not 100% sure. I, I think it's this way. Yes, it's this way. <laughs> okay. But this is the town. This is the car park that I was going to. Ah, oh, right, okay. Park in. Uh, I normally park in. Okay. The Starma likes to park in the one linked to the shopping centre. The, the big bowl. This 
potential contenders. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the this one, the Bur Burger King shopping center. Yeah. And then you got the McDonald's shopping center. Only, does it? No. No, it should be good. Nice see cars. Yeah. Oh, there's two McDonald's. Yeah, there's McDonald's here. McDonald's in the shopping centre. Burger King, even the way that nobody goes to. <laughs> in the other shopping centre. Yeah. Yes, it's quite nice that switch, isn't it? Yeah. Holy crap, German donut kebab is here. Mm. Holy crap. I make apps for these dudes. Oh, do you? Yeah, their app is from... I, I built it, basically. Oh, <laughs> oh, you, oh wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should introduce yourself. Is Holy crap. I built your app. Can I have some free grub? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could do that. Hmm. Unfortunately, they can only say no. <laughs> <laughs> they would say yes, would they? If, if it was, if it wasn't a chain, if you bought an app just for one pizzeria, mm. and you said that, one, you'd be known to them, but mm. uh, yeah, they'll probably give you free pizzas. <laughs> right, is it here or up here? I don't know. I think that's no, it's up here. Yes. Dude, you're asking me like as if I know. <laughs> I've never driven to this place and parked a car. I often find if you just vocalize your thoughts, mm -hmm. you're less likely to get it wrong. So it's here. Yes. Yeah, in programming they call that rubber ducking. Oh, really? Yes, you talk to a rubber duck <laughs> mm. about your problems and you try to explain to the, well, it could be anything, any inanimate object, even like Buddha over here we can see. And you just talk to him and tell him, uh, this is the problem that I'm having and how do I solve this? How do you think I should solve this? Yes, it must be here, coming, approaching, <laughs> where it says car park. Okay. Not here, but more here. I mean, this is, this is, I'm just, this is what Sadama parks, I mean, it, it costs money. I'm, I mean, as I say, I found my free parking space and it's five to ten minutes walk away. But, yeah, uh, fine, so whatever, She, she always, she adamantly wants to park here and not explore other avenues, but yeah. I guess we noticed this. But, is it, places but is it cheaper here because it's slightly further away or is no, it? No, because this is closest, <laughs> it's vastly more expensive. <laughs> I mean, no, that's not a lie. It's just a standard rate of two pounds per two hours. Pound an hour, I think. Yeah. This is fine, it's four pounds. It's, okay, it okay. It comes and goes. You're not live streaming, of one. No, 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 no. no. Um. When was the last time you you stepped out of the house and did something like this? <laughs> um, uh, five months ago. Five months. Yeah, in Sri Lanka. Did it all the time for about a month. You have to like, you have to like the view of everything. Shit. Nice. Yeah. It's like. Um, Who's this? This is a cartoon character. This is some princess. Sleeping Beauty or something? Uh, I'm thinking, uh, is it uh, Mario's Snow, girlfriend? Snow White, <laughs> Snow White maybe. Hmm. Possibly. Well, we could go downstairs for the. Yeah, we could go. We could go. Yeah. 
We were so gangster that he was like, nah, let me not interact with these people, man. <laughs> he came in like three times into the theater and was like, hmm, should I tell these guys? <laughs> you have to go down there, though. You're going to have to follow this. Well, don't yeah, have just to follow anything. But, um, yeah, yeah, we're well, gangsters, man. We're not, uh, yeah, we're not follow the rules, man. Yeah. Okay, everybody, you have to take a left over here for an exit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, we'll window everyone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just uh, here, here, here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, kind of just went around in a circle again, didn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you go around. It's, 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 it's a fun right. car park. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So, your final reviews for the movie. What did you think? Oh, this, this is all going on. This is all going on YouTube. Choreograph. Right? <laughs> Choreographery. Is that a mm -hmm. word? Choreographery. Choreograph, three, I think, yes. Like yes. The choreograph. Okay, yes, yes. That, that word, if it exists. The choreograph, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, is um, top notch, but top -notch, not perfect. Yes. Not perfect. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so I did notice that, you know, where the stuntman waits for a, a, a half a second. Mm. Uh, yes, the next there have but, been. Mm. You know, he is in his fifties. Yeah, he's in his fifties exactly. So you got to give him credit for that, man. I don't even. I don't even. I can't even do that in my thirties. So forget about fifties, man. <laughs> so yes, I'd have to give him credit for that. For I like, sure. I like the way the that fat man. You, you thought he would just be like terrible, terrible when he ran away, but yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. He was a pretty good fighter. He gave. John yeah, Wick's a run for yeah, his money. Yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah. I like that one. That was nice. Um, but you, oh. There's at least ten. Oh yes, that's good. At least ten scenes in it where you think, oh, that's cool. You know, yeah, especially with yeah. the dog and the bollocks. Balls. Yeah. You know, and then they go for the yeah. balls. I like that. <laughs> um, so some of the scenes where they just get uh, the stuntman gets. Uh, Hit by the cars or get smashed into a, a sidewalk, you know. Yes, the, the cars, the cars scene in Paris where they were just in the middle of that uh, monument and they were just like where the cars go round. And uh, obviously, don't want to give up too much information to people who haven't watched the video. But yes, that scene was amazing. Uh, very, very cool. Yes. Yeah, definitely give it. I'd, I'd give it a nine out of ten, only because of certain scenes where the way John Wick was like hit or thrown, it was like, how do you survive that really? Yeah. You know, especially the part, that scene where he was thrown out of the building and he landed on a car, that was, oh, yes, that was yes. three stories up. Yes, that was, uh, it's like, it's like the height of this building and then you're thrown off that building and you go and hit a car. Yeah, you can't survive that, man. So I think that was a bit too much. You, you, you can't walk it off. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the word. he's got the Kefla, suit. Yeah, and but that's that's, uh, well, that's something. But it takes you from uh, from the bullets and the knives and stuff. Yeah, I get that, that part. Will uh, punch you. Yes. And not from a blunt impact of crashing yeah. into a car. From yes. Four, 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 four <laughs> yeah, that was a bit too much. So I, I kind of that kind of broke the illusion for me. I think that was it. Yes. Uh, there was also one other scene where. One of the high table dudes just when he was climbing up the stairs and literally just flung him against the pole and then he rolled down the steps for like I think 30 seconds or something. <laughs> uh, I think that was a bit like how did he just wake up from that and be like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know, so that was another one. So those two scenes, apart from those two scenes, everything else was just oh man. The whole build up to, yeah, we're gonna go and do this. The, okay, the, the one one other thing, the duel, I kind of felt like towards the ending was a bit. I love the, uh, the, the 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 get out of jail clause at the end where uh, mm. they both survived. 
Oh and yes, oh yes, that was nice. That was a nice twist. Yes. I like the fact that he didn't use the... That's it, twist. Yeah, that, that twist, yeah, that was a nice twist. I like that part. Nice. <laughs>